Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited novel video. Today we're doing something really, really fun. I'm making homemade ice cream for my kid. And to be honest, your treats do not have to be unhealthy to treat your kids. They don't know any different. And you, you know, you, you still need to reward them. You still need to drive them, you know, for to do what you need to do. And I think ice cream is one of the best way and chocolate ice cream and chocolate best ways to reward kids. My kid loves my homemade ice cream and chocolate. And by rewarding him different day, different times with those treats, I do not damage his health as well as I know exactly what goes in the product. So today, it's not, it's not per se uh, ice cream that you buy in a shop because I don't use sugar, I use uh, erythritol and I use 100% cocoa, right? Use milk and I encourage you to use A2 milk um, and to be honest, in two minutes time we have ice cream ready. So what we do first, we put um, some cocoa, approximate amount, in a glass jar and make sure that that quantity is enough for what you're planning to do. Uh, with all honesty, if you put a little bit more than you plan, it's not a big deal. Uh, we just put a little bit more erythritol and you should be fine. So there's no precise measurements for the leaves. By the way, all ingredients that I'm using today are put down in the video description so you can easily with one click order them all online or order my stuff from Amazon. When you put your cocoa in, cocoa and milk would not mix. So you need to mix it with water and also add a refresher to make sure that it's pre-mixed before you add milk. If you add milk first, uh, it will be clumpy. It will be, it won't, it won't just mix. It will be um, quite yucky. Actually, uh, add quite a bit of erythritol, but again, you know, um, it will be sweet and kids will know any different, and it will be a much healthier option. All right, I'll just quickly mix it all together and add water. Uh, by the way, if you already do healthy food, uh, please use filtered water. I don't mind whether it's um, on the sink uh, uh, industrial filter or just Brita filter. Uh, but if you add any water, filtered your, your water, you don't want any chemicals in the food. Yes, the water is clean, but it's still treated. And you would like to sh filter those treat chemicals and treat water out of the water before you use it. All right, so we add water just to make sure we can mix it well. And we start mixing it. It will clump a little bit, but at the end, it will become almost solid. So don't overdo your water because the ice cream won't be as tasty, but do just, um, just enough to make it um, solid. So we, when we add milk, um, it will kind of uh, mix together well. So see how it's, it's very, um, very thick um, environment inside, which is great. I didn't want it to be any liquid. And when it's thick, it means it mixed well. And when you see no more powder, you can start adding milk. Because if you start adding milk, when you still see powder, uh, it won't mix with milk. It just won't. All right, so now we're adding milk. And mix it all together until it's all mixed well. And you will see the color changes become um, like more, like very thick um, chocolate substance, which is great. That's exactly what you want to, uh, to achieve. And mix it well until it all mixes up. The thicker it is, it's better, but without clumps.
Let me try if it's enough erythritol. Perfect. And by the way, it's not only a um, recipe for the ice cream, also if your kid like uh, what we call up and go or any chocolate milk in the, in the morning, I highly suggest you not to buy a commercially made one. First of all, because it's made from the cheapest milk. Second, because they add sugar in it. And third, because they add cheapest cocoa. If you buy ingredients separately, you not only save money, but most important, you save, uh, not save, but you ensure your kids' health and still give them treat. Look, it's a very thick chocolatey substance. What I do, I put here Tupperware ice cream forms and I start slowly, I just disconnect them one from another and then connect when I put them in a freezer. So I just fill them up. One is done. Two is done. Three done. Four done. Now there's a trick. When we put the cover in, let me put all of them and I'll explain what I'm doing next. So that cover is not only covering ice cream that you just made, it's a stock that uh, the ice cream will be held into. So when you finish, I will just bring it to camera, see how some of them uh, chocolate overflows and some of them not. Make sure that when you finish, you actually top it up. So when you get ice cream out, the chocolate, the ice cream will be held in it and won't fall out. So here we are, we're refilling them and all four ice cream ready. So it's eight o'clock in the morning, Brisbane time here, and my kid is in daycare. By the time he comes from daycare at 5 p.m., if he's a good boy, ice creams will be ready for him. Look, couple of bucks, you've got healthy, beautiful, homemade ice cream in no time. And your kids will love it. No sugar, healthy milk, uh, organic cocoa, everything that is just perfect for your kid after dinner time, breakfast or even lunch. Thank you for watching. If you like this video or any other video on my channel, please hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the bell uh, button so you don't miss any notifications of new videos and tune up for next uh, time I record a new video. Thank you.